BMO TCH complex is that the 10 year ends itself, ends the year more or less uh, around where we are now. Um, I think that uh, there's a few reasons for that. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we are of the view that if you, the economic data as it continues to come into year end doesn't support uh, higher yields. So you are a fan of corporate debt, not surprising given uh, what's going on in treasuries. You like metals and mining and you like technology. What's going on in those sectors that are making the debt attractive to you? Well, as has been highlighted for a number of years now, interest rates remain in terms of their, their historical averages to be low. So in order to find extra yield, we have to do a little extra credit work and find industries where maybe some of the headwinds have given investors some negative sentiment. So the extra yield that we can get above, let's say, treasuries is very large. So metals and mining, commodity price has been under pressure. The bonds themselves have come down in price and their yields are higher. And similarly with um, telecommunications, if you think about uh, a few weeks ago, uh, Verizon uh, brought the largest bond deal to market, $50 billion. That reprices all the debt in the sector. So all of its competitors and their debt came under pressure and their yields went up as well. So we found some opportunities there. We think we have high quality credits, but uh, attractive yields. When are we going to see another deal that size? I would suspect that that's going to be a record for a while. Uh, that was very impressive uh, that they were able to do it. And obviously, they were buying probably a, a unique asset and that they already owned a portion of it, Verizon Wireless. And uh, it was paying so much cash flow off that it just made the financing work. But that's going to be hard to come by.